In today's video, we are talking about the NVIDIA N1 Catback for the Subaru BRZ. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Grace McTaggart and I like making car videos, especially about my Subaru BRZ as well as I have a Datsun 280Z. So if that sounds cool to you, be sure to subscribe down below and leave a like on the video. Uh, and that way you don't miss any of the content that I put out. It's free to do and you can always unsubscribe at any time. With that said, let's go ahead and get into the details about the exhaust that I have on this car. Currently on my BRZ, I have the NVIDIA N1 Catback exhaust. Now that is the only modified piece of the exhaust, the rest is absolutely stock. And I've had this exhaust on here for a few years now I think it's about two and a half years and so I wanted to do a actual review to tell you guys my thoughts on it how much I've liked it or disliked it and if you should buy one or not now I'm gonna go over a few things the obvious one is how it sounds I'm going to play a few exhaust clips for you driving by as well as actually on the car and then also inside of the car so you can determine if you like it or not how I've genuinely liked it just my personal like comfort level with this exhaust and then not only that, a few other things like installation and cost and quality of the actual parts that go into making this exhaust. Before I do the sound clips, I want to tell you guys about this exhaust. I installed this exhaust myself a couple years ago. I actually have a video. It's the first video actually on this channel is me installing this exhaust. So if you're curious, you can go watch that. There'll be linked somewhere. Uh, and this exhaust will also be linked down in the description if you do want to end up buying it at the end of the video. The exhaust I bought on Amazon for $514 and I believe 90 cents. Exactly, free shipping. So for a exhaust for a car, it, it's, it's I think moderately priced. Some full exhaust systems can go for a thousand to two thousand dollars. This just being a catback, it was about 500. And this I believe is in the higher quality standard of exhaust. Now the quality on this exhaust is really, really nice. All the welds, all, everything looks really good. And the chrome and all the pieces looked really, really good. So on a rating from one to five for build quality, I'd say it's a five for build quality on this catback exhaust. Next is installation. Now this being the actual first exhaust that I installed myself, uh, installation was a little more difficult, but frankly, it was not that difficult either way. It took me a little bit, but that's just because it was my first time doing it. And so I say installation is about four out of five on the easy scale. You can pretty much do it in your garage with minimal tools. Now there is a couple things that I don't really like about this exhaust. One is it doesn't, it doesn't fit exactly the way I want it to. Um, the reason why is because everybody, not just me, it's not because I installed it weird or anything like that, it's, it's a problem with the exhaust build quality. And that is everybody who installs this, or has this installed, the tips of the exhaust don't point directly out like they should, they kind of are crooked or in some weird angle, and there's not an easy way to fix that. Um, there are some ways to fix it, but it's not super easy. So if that bugs you, if that level of perfection is what you're going for, this may not be the exact exhaust for you. Now, in weight savings, it does a lot from the old exhaust. I believe the old exhaust, the muffler itself dropped like a bunch of weight off the car. I can't tell the exact number, I wish I could. You can look it up somewhere. I may put it on the screen if I find out. But you save a lot of weight in the rear end of the car by dropping off the old muffler and putting on these two. Not only do you save on weight, you also save on back pressure. This allows a lot more flow to come from the engine, which means you gain a couple more horsepower. It gives you the potential to gain more horsepower with this exhaust. Now, will you feel that horsepower? Probably not but it does allow you to do that. And now what you all have been waiting for is the sound quality. My personal experience is I love the sound quality in this car. This exhaust is probably the most you can do. A catback is the most you can do for the sound quality of your exhaust. It does the most difference. So that being said, there are varying qualities of exhaust. Usually more expensive exhausts produce a better tone. And a lot of people don't realize that. They just want the cheapest, loudest thing that they can get. But more experienced car people will appreciate a better tone over noise. So my personal opinion on this, which I will let you guys judge for yourself in a minute after I actually film those clips and you see them, but my personal opinion is this sounds really good. Now there is a couple things that I wish could, that could be changed. It sounds muffled, which that sounds a little weird, but when you first hear it, it sounds amazing. You're driving, everything sounds so great because of the major difference that it makes. But as you keep driving, it sounds like it's muffled, like there's like cloth stuffed in the, the exhaust pipes and it doesn't sound as crisp as I want it to. Now this can probably be fixed with a front pipe or a cat delete, but personally, this alone I don't think is 
the way the exhaust should be set up. I think there should be another piece added, which will come in the future. Not only that, there is a bit of drone with this new exhaust, which is to be expected when you remove that much of, you know, sound dampening from an exhaust. So that is something to look out for if you don't like drone, either don't get this exhaust or get a resonator, which would actually allow you to reduce that drone. Now with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and start up the car, do a couple revs. I will also drive by a couple times so you can hear what it sounds like. Then I also take you for a ride in the car itself so you can hear what it sounds like in the car, which a lot of people don't show, which I think is probably the most important aspect because that's where you spend most of your time hearing the exhaust. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this is not a cold start, this is a slightly warm start because I did have to drive here, so keep that in mind. This is a warm start on a 2017 Subaru BRZ with an NVIDIA N1 catback exhaust. It's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm inside the car and I'm gonna go ahead and get some driving shots for you guys to see what it's like with the windows up and the windows down actually driving the car with the exhaust on. For this first one, I have the windows up and this is what it sounds like driving with the windows up with the NVIDIA exhaust. Next shot, I'm actually going to go ahead and roll these windows down. And so now you can see what it sounds like with the windows down while I'm driving. If there is some wind noise, I apologize for that. I'm going to try to reduce that as much as I can. But obviously with the windows down, there will be wind making some wind noise. But just try to listen to the exhaust note. Okay, I went ahead and pulled over in a parking lot. Sorry that last clip wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. There's a lot of people on the road and I would rather focus on the road um, than try to get a good clip, but I got some good clip and it's mainly the audio that you wanted to listen to. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the GoPro to the back so you can actually hear what it sounds like out by the exhaust by the back of the car. So the next clip you will see is from the GoPro.
Now overall, I do recommend this exhaust if you have a 2013 to now BRZ or FRS or 86 because it does sound a lot better. I think it's the most bang for your buck and that's why it's such a popular exhaust. These are seen everywhere. Not only does it make it louder, but it also does a lot for the tone. It gives it a deeper, more aggressive tone whenever you drive. Now I do like this exhaust, but I do think there is some improvements to be made, such as with a front pipe or maybe a cat delete, and which could sharpen the tone a little bit and reduce some of the muffled noise that comes from this exhaust. Now overall installation, if you do it yourself, is pretty easy. I did it myself and I had never worked on a car before in my life. So that tells you a lot about how easy it is to install. There's a lot of in installation videos. I put my own installation video up. And so I do recommend getting this exhaust and putting it on your car. If you guys do have any questions or you want to know more about this exhaust or anything else about my car, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to respond either in the comments or in a whole video. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more content that I put out in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.